Okay, so I built up this Easy Spin mini motor about two months ago. And after my last Easy Spin motor video, I've had a lot of requests from folks wanting to buy an Easy Spin motor. And what I did decide to do, I'm really busy right now with other projects, but I decided to go ahead and design a miniature version of the Easy Spin motor. This will make it a lot easier for folks to build. It uses smaller parts, they're easier to source. The main difference is, are these little uh, coil bobbins here. They're a lot easier to wind. Go ahead and use 42 gauge wire or get wire within that range to get your current amp draw down low. But apart from that, uh, the construction is essentially the same as the larger Easy Spin. It's just a whole lot faster. You have fewer coils and smaller coils. And it still runs at under five microamps on the load draw. So it makes a great little display motor. It's a beautiful uh, piece to have setting on your desk or in a display case. Now it's been going, like I said, for a couple months on the crystal cell that's underneath the motor here. And I'll see if I can show you that. This, uh, this is right now, this is Velcroed to this wood base with construction Velcro. So you can remove this and it, depending on the climate where you live, you might have to mist these holes with just a few drops of water from time to time. Or if you live in a humid environment, this may just run on continuously without even needing to do that. Now the mix on the crystal cell is quite a bit different than any mix that I've ever tried before. The essential ingredients are the same, but I went ahead and added one third part epoxy when I was making this. So I basically heated up the ingredients just as just the same as previous crystal cells. And when it was hot and in that um, melted state in a slurry, I mixed in one third epoxy. I put this in here and I let it harden and then I sanded down the top. And so far, this has been an incredibly stable cell. So this will be very interesting uh, to monitor over, you know, long-term testing and see how this cell does. But anyway, it's a mini Easy Spin motor uh, connected up with a crystal cell with a, an epoxy uh, hybrid mix. And uh, I was just really happy with how this project turned out. I think it makes a beautiful demonstration. Check out Laser Hacker dot com for the 3d files and i may put this up on uh, ebay if there's interest i have so many of these kind of projects uh, on shelves in different places so if there's enough interest check the video description i may go ahead and put a link up for this one on ebay i don't know when i'll have time to build another but it, again it would make a great demonstration on somebody's desk or on their shelf and if i do end up selling this one to somebody the only thing i'd ask is that they report in with me and give me updates over the months or years as this thing runs as to how it's going. Because I really want to learn more about this um, epoxy hybrid crystal cell mix. So anyway, that's just a little update. Um, been really busy lately and haven't had a lot of time to document. I am building a large Easy Spin motor. You know, this is the Mini. I have a large Easy Spin motor under construction. It's got a very large diameter rotor, four inch disc magnets, um, huge coils. So. That'll be interesting as well, but anyway, let's all keep experimenting. Uh, we'll talk with you later.